That is, I come to the village. I heard a screaming till midnight. I couldn't sleep. I came home. That screaming followed in my ear. That I first I wake up in the morning. It pop up in my mind, and my life never rests. If I don't want to do anything, I decided to went back to bring the medicine for him to treat him. Um, I work. I come back as a teenager. I never, I never have teenage time. I start to work as the waitress, start to find uh, money to go to buy medicine for him. And when I put the medicine for him, then the, the owner said, more elephants sick in that village, more sick in that village. I walk to the elephant and I witness by all lame pregnant still work. And I ask him why this poor elephant still work when they can when they can rest and the villagers they said when they die. Mm. And I came back with another shock. My mind is so confused. What can I do to help? You know for me one thing when I I I came from the poor family. This is something this is I want to let everyone here to know that. When I is no way that is I will be created this. But my heart I'm different. I, when I want to do something, I do like this. And when I want to do a job, I don't wait till tomorrow. I do. I will do it. When I came home right away, I can rest. And I think I plan, okay, tomorrow I find a job. I have to, to find a medicine. I have to do this. I have to do this. I manage that and I start to do the work. I never thought I would go to have a sanctuary. And after that, I went up there and then went this, and I said, why? Because they said they don't know. And one thing I heard that, I said, when elephants are so sick, how can you do? Because they stay far away. They said, we chain here until they're falling down and die. And think about that. It's no choice and no future. I have no money. I have, if I go to school, I have to find, you know, scholarship to school. So the choice to open a sanctuary like this is zero. But I can just sit down and wait someone to give me money. I decided to start to work and help whatever I can, only a little, to bring that. And then after that, I walk into the jungle to find out what's going on there, to learn and understand about that. And that is out of my university. And I learn and does nothing give me money, but because of the love I give to them, because of the, the love I have for them, and I dream that one day I will rescue this boy and I will, I will bring him home. I dream that I will have the hut and have the forest in the back and put the boy there and let him die uh, freedom. And this is all, only the dream. So when I pre, you know, uh, finished from university, uh, like a graduate, my mother, as a tribal, my mother asked me before, because I'm the first woman of the village to come to learn in university. And to be a tribal is not easy because we have a strong culture. When the sun sets, women can leave home. My mother take a lot of pressure allow me to come to, to school and with a promise that after I graduate, I must, I must work for the government official to protect the people from abuse from authority because we are tribal, we like a third kind of population. I promised my mother. But after I saw the elephant life. No. Human, we have the choice, we have the mouth to speak. This life is more important. I talk to my mother, I'm sorry, I refuse to work for the government. But then I find a job like an independent. I work in many things like a tour guide, sell, sell girl, you know, sell electric, you know, like equipment, sell anything that I have. Catalog, if I have time, I walk from around the house to sell. Before they don't have online ladies, I have to go to do a lot of things to sell door to door and knock. When I get the money, I disappear to the jungle and bring the medicine. I do even the business uh, for laundry, wash, dry, and iron. I, any job, this is, can allow me to go to jungle. And then in 1991, I create uh, Jumbo Express, which is I have rent the chief, rent the motorcycle, you know, Anywhere that is the jeep stop, the road finished. We go with a small road to the motorcycle, and where is a motorcycle road finished? 
they had to walk and not go by boat, carry the medicine and go to the jungle. I have found a lot, a lot of supper animals. And then I decided one day I will create the sanctuary. And then when I talked to my mother, my mother said, how? I don't know. I said to my mother, but here, I think I, will, I can. I never give up. 2006, uh, 2002, I have a visit from the man. Uh, no, 2003, sorry. The man from Texas named Bert von Roma. He, when he visited me at that time, I, I rescued uh, already nine elephants. Some is not us. And Bert have seen that the, the work. And when he saw, and he asked me, do you have, you need the land? Because I rent the land for government, which is not, not safe. Someday, the government will come and chase us out from the jungle. So I said yes, but I never gave, I never hope because many people come along, oh, we will buy the land for the youth. And Bert just talked to me only three days. He washed and then he left. And then a week after he transferred money, 6.5 million to my bank account. When I'm not even foundation, I'm ordinary. Wow. Uh, but 6.5 million baht, not not, uh, not, uh, yeah. Yeah. but still a lot of money. So at that time, a lot. And so when I get that, I bought this land. When I bought the land, then we create, start to create a sanctuary, start from nine elephant. And today we have 5,000 animals from the one man who give the light. I know that when I stay in the dark, bird give me one kind of light and I promise him I will bring the light to bright, shiny all the animals. So that's why we use, we use this uh, program to educate people. It not just only really help elephant and other animals, but to create a volunteer program, you can do somehow to stop abuse and cruelty. I will tell you later, how can we help us to, uh, like a to save animals and to, you know, to protect the animal from around the world, not just really for, from uh, Elephant Nature Park. I have someone want to, a question. Yes, I think